Hey, it's James Mulvaney here and back with another video in this mini series talking about software that you can use for your podcast. And in today's video, I want to show you five tools which will enable you to do remote recordings or remote interviews for your podcast. So if your podcast is focused around interviewing guests, these tools make the process simple. So stay tuned. So if you're new to this channel, my name is James Mulvaney. I'm an entrepreneur working within the audio space. I'm founder of radio.co, podcast.co, matchmaker.fm and Q Podcast. So you can go and check them out if you like. Now I'm always creating videos like this, talking about the latest software to use and also things like equipment reviews and tips and tricks to grow your audience. So if you find this kind of content useful, hit that subscribe button and ping, turn on your notifications because I'm always releasing content just like this. So let's get started with today's video. So if you've been using Zoom or Microsoft Teams or something like that to record your podcast, you're kind of doing it wrong. The problem with using tools like this is they actually compress the quality of your audio. So the audio quality for one isn't as good. The second drawback to using one of these tools is quite often you'll record it and it will only have one track. Ideally, what you want to be doing is recording the raw source of the audio at each end. Now, you could do this manually by having you and a guest use some software like Audacity or Adobe Audition, or you can use one of these tools, which will make for much better audio quality. Number one, Squadcast. Squadcast is one of the most reliable platforms for recording your podcast remotely on the market today. With its patented cloud-based technology that incorporates multiple backup files, you'd have to be very unlucky to lose your recordings. You can have up to four people per recording session at the same time and download your audio in WAV and MP3 formats. Pricing starts at $20 a month. Number two, Clean Feed. Clean Feed is simple to use and they have a free plan that works well to start out. The free account has no limit on time or number of connections. However, if you want to upgrade, the Pro Plan gives you access to volume control, multiple input devices, audio repair, cart wall, and more. Prices start at $22 or £15 a month for personal use. Veed.live, formerly known as Welder, Veed.live is on a mission to build the best live streaming tool in the world. As well as offering functionality to record high quality audio and video, V.Live distinguishes itself from the rest by offering live streaming capabilities across social media, transcription functionality, and even a video editor to create repurposed social clips from your live stream. Prices start at around £25 or $30 a month for a pro account. Riverside.fm Riverside.fm is arguably one of the most popular podcast recording platforms on the market at this time, and it's fair to see why. Their pro account offers unlimited recording and editing, separate tracks for 15 hours of recording a month, up to 4K video quality, 48 kilohertz audio quality, live streaming to Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook, a producer mode so audio levels can be monitored in real time, a live call-ins feature, unlimited transcriptions. They also have a magic editor with clips with Riverside to help you repurpose your content with ease. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Prices start from $15 a month for the standard version. Number five, Zencaster. We have a production company called Q Podcast, and we've used a fair amount of the tools mentioned on this list. And we produce podcasts for top brands and find Zencaster to be the most reliable, easy to use for people being recorded, and most efficient option out there currently on the market. It offers a soundboard for adding beds and sound effects and eye dents on the fly, post-production with loudness, normalization, noise and hum reduction, and more. You can also store local audio and video backups, plus have it synced to your cloud file storage like Dropbox or Google Drive automatically. So there we have it, five tools to enable you to record remote interviews, which let's be honest, we all do these days and it makes life a lot easier, but record them in higher quality than perhaps using something like Zoom, which although is still really popular and easy to use, uh, doesn't always produce the best results. So I'm curious to know if you use any of these tools, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Hey, before you go, Let's connect on LinkedIn. I'm always posting interesting content like this over on my LinkedIn channel and it'd be cool to hang out. So go to jamesm.com slash connect, click on LinkedIn, send me a connection request. And once we're connected, send me a message to say you came over from this video and I'll send you some cool things for free. Sound fair? Well, head to jamesm.com slash connect and connect with me on LinkedIn and I'll see you over there.